Today on Newsbreak, we'll take a look at a busy schedule of extracurricular activities this weekend and the beginning of next week. We'll also take a look at last night's March Madness matchups. All this and more on this Friday, March 24th, 2017. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Emily Parks. And I'm Aaron Hines. Let's take a look at your top stories for today. Key Club is currently collecting mini shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and bars of soap for the Veterans Affairs Hospitals. You can place them in the items in the box located in the office. Good luck to Matt Hulworth, Ryan Hurst, Zach Rinkin, and Ellie Smith as they perform at Individual All State Speech Festival on Monday at UNI. The solo and ensemble music contest will be held tomorrow in Sioux Center. More than 100 SLHS students will be participating. Good luck to all! Boys and Girls Track will compete tomorrow at STSU. Good luck to all athletes involved. The Vocal Jazz Ensemble held a special assembly this morning in the same center to perform their numbers. They will be competing in the Vocal Jazz Championships at West Des Moines Valley High School on Tuesday. Good luck. Mr. Vanderbilt will provide after school tutoring in room 221 on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Happy birthday today to Sophia Adams, Dawson Frank, Charlie Gardner, Tristan Murray, and Brady Tolan. And over the weekend to Hope Marshall, Sarah Brooks, Faith Norris, and Tom Zubendorf. Now let's take a look at today's weather. Alright, let's take a look at today's weather. We can see a high of 42 degrees today with um, showers throughout the day, a uh, 60% chance. Winds 15 to 20 miles an hour out of the north-northeast, gusting to 30 um, with a low of 34 tonight. And those winds should continue throughout the overnight hours into tomorrow with those winds uh, continuing 15 to 20 miles an hour gusts to 30 out of the northeast with a high of 45 tomorrow. Uh, there's a good chance of rain tomorrow morning and that rain, those chances will like, kind of diminish throughout the day and with a low of 35 tomorrow night. And then take a look at the weather for Sunday. We can see a high of 47, so a little bit warmer yet with 20% chance of rain showers uh, mostly in the afternoon. We could see some drizzle um, throughout the morning with a low of 36 Sunday night. So let's look at your weather. Back to you guys. All right, and taking a look at some more March Madness, uh, we had four games last night. We had uh, Gonzaga beating West Virginia and Oregon beating uh, Michigan. Yep, last night a nail biter, Xavier knocked off the number two seed Arizona yep. as well. Quite the that was close one. Um, so those three games were close, but the Kansas Purdue game, uh, Kansas came out on top by 32 points. That's quite a lot. Um, Purdue led most of the first half up until the last about five minutes of that first half when Kansas took the lead by seven um, at halftime. Um, and then just all throughout the second half, Kansas took control and outscored them uh, by 25. So that was the end of that game. Yeah, that'll be quite a team to watch for the yeah. rest of the tournament. Yeah. There are four more games tonight, and the first game starts at 6.09 on CBS. Yeah, stay tuned. We'll keep you updated for our March Madness competition. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching.